the RTX bit so to find the first auscultation point. Uh, and uh, you must remember that the palpation of RTX bit is performed for two stages. Mm -hmm. The first stage we put all palm uh, on precardium and then two fingers, two fingers to locate the RTX bit. This patient without RTX bit. Here is the optics bit. Mm -hmm. So here we will put the stethoscope and listen to mitral wave. So we are listening the mitral wave. Then we find the second intercostal space mm -hmm. at the right edge of the sternum. Put here stethoscope and listen to aortic valve. Then uh, uh, second intercostal space at the left edge of the sternum. And listen here, the pulmonary artery valve. Mm -hmm. Then xiphoidus at the right side of the xiphoidus. And while well, listening the trick used it well. And at the last, the third and the fourth intercostal space at the left side of the sternum while well, listening the aortic well. After auscultation we must uh, characterize uh, the uh, tones. Uh, in this case, in this patient, uh, the tones, the hard tones are regular, are loud, two component rhythm, and the ratio of the components uh, is not changed, is normal. It means that the first hard sound is more loud, is louder uh, than the second at the apex. The second hot tone is louder at the second. intercostal space at the right and at the yeah. left. Yeah. At the xiphoidus, the first hot tone is louder. And in Botkin Erbus point, the second hot tone is louder. Yeah. And you must remember how to estimate, uh, how to differentiate the first tone from the second tone. Mm -hmm. So we perform the auscultation and palpate the carotid artery. Okay. And uh, uh, the tone which coincides with the uh, pulsation of the carotid artery is the first hot tone. Or, for example, I don't know what I hear, the first or the second tone at the base of the heart. I may perform auscultation of this and palpate and I will know w which is of the tones the first or the second and we must uh, count the heart rate so we perform the auscultation for example <coughs> in the apex and count if the rate is regular <coughs> we will, may count for 15 seconds and multiply for 4 as for pulse. And if uh, the um, rate is irregular, not regular, we must count per minute heart rate. So we may say that heart rate of this patient is uh, 72 per minute. If it is less than 60, we can say that it is bradycardia. More than 90, that's all. <laughs> listen for your patient. You may listen to each other. Maybe something different. Maybe some, some of you have uh, some pathology in heart sounds. And uh, count the heart rate and differentiate the first and the, the second uh, heart sounds. So you have time to train. And if you have any questions, you ask.